We are in Solopton, Switzerland, where it's headquartered Fabroba. The brand has been quiet for a number of years, but is back with a collection of rugged functional timepieces, such as the Bivouac or the Harpoon. Recently, they launched another bold dive watch featuring a cool mechanical depth gauge. We're gonna take a look at the Favre Le Bas Raider Bati 120. Well, Favaluba, uh, which was uh, conceived in 1737 uh, here in Switzerland, uh, remains the second oldest Swiss brand, uh, proudly having conquered frontiers for clearly three centuries almost. Uh, what started out as a, as a small brand in a, in a small workshop uh, has uh, grown to become uh, a pioneer in, in instrumentation watches, in uh, watches which have uh, uh, defied, uh, you know, expectations for decades. And uh, this is a brand uh, which uh, proudly has uh, always uh, gone into territories which others did not think was possible. Today we are, uh, uh, you know, proudly relaunching this brand in the, since the last two years and trying to relive its wonderful history. In its pioneering spirit, uh, the brand uh, introduced in the 1960 uh, the first dive watch, which was called the Waterdeep, uh, perhaps the first amongst many brands. And uh, that started the foray for the brand in its experimentations with the dive watches. Uh, it soon, in 1963, brought the Deep Blue, which uh, was water resistant up to 200 meters, uh, perhaps uh, a new benchmark in those, those times. It experimented with this technology of uh, diving watches and watches which can perhaps go the distance in, in the field of diving. Uh, and using a technology that was uh, central to what was there in the bivouac, which was a watch we had made for the heights and the mountains, uh, it did a few research and development and created uh, the Bathi uh, in 1968. Uh, the Bathi was the first mechanical uh, dive watch which could not only tell you uh, how long uh, it's been since you dived, but also tell you uh, precisely the, the depth to which you have dived. Uh, and uh, that watch was introduced in 1968 in two versions, uh, one which uh, gave the depth in meters, so it was a 50 meter model, and then there was one which indicated the depth in feet, 160 meet, feet uh, model. Um, these watches uh, had ex exquisite designing. Uh, they had some very special uh, design elements to them, uh, which was the signature uh, pillowcase cover, uh, which had the tetra decagonal uh, bezel, uh, which had a, a very clear uh, luminous indices and hands so that reading is unmistakable at the depths of the water. Uh, and I think uh, above all, it was sized appropriately for the user, keeping the functionality in mind. Uh, and I think this caught the attention of a lot of our customers because it was perhaps the first ever product created in, 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 in the watch industry which could do something like this. We, of course, uh, wanted to celebrate uh, the, uh, uh, the achievement that this uh, watch was able to uh, garner. Uh, and in 2018, marking the 50th year of, uh, of this wonderful timepiece, we launched uh, Bati uh, in, in its new form and it was received with great uh, accolade. This uh, watch is uh, water resistant up to 200 meters, uh, but more importantly, it can capture the depth of the dive up to 120 meters and record it. Uh, very few watches uh, can do the memory function of capturing the dive of the watch uh, and interestingly in the field of mechanical watches perhaps perhaps Bati is uh, you know a lone star and I think uh, that has been an incredible uh, extension of the perfection that was achieved in 1968 by the team that today uh, manages uh, the the brand here. 
For the new bot, we decided to add a, a feature. Um, it is um, a, memor a memory function for the depth gauge. And uh, that's the first time that uh, something like that was uh, done in a, in a watch. We have also added a bit of uh, depth. We can go to 120 meters now and at the same time record our uh, lowest depth we were going. The size is bigger. Uh, we um, have the look of a, of a retro, retro watch a bit, but it's in a, uh, interpreted in a modern way. We added some, uh, some design features also from uh, the, um, the harpoon and uh, the deep blues. Now the watch is uh, bigger. It's 48 millimeters instead of 40 millimeters. Also to see a bit better underwater what, uh, where, at what depth you are. And uh, the case is made in titanium uh, instead of steel to make it lighter. And we have uh, 65 hours of uh, power reserve instead of uh, just uh, 35 or 36 hours uh, that was common in the 1960s. For the body, we uh, decided to go with the same base movement, basic movement from Eterna EMC, uh, because that movement is uh, really good for uh, building uh, a module on it and it has the center free for our function uh, for the depth gauge. And um, when you compare it to the Biwak, the body is working almost at, uh, the same. It is um, taking the movement of a capsule uh, to translate it into a, a rotation and uh, on the body the whole case is working like the capsule, um, whereas at the BWAC it was an in the watch built in uh, capsule. The, the case of the body is deforming under uh, pressure, under the water pressure. And then the lever inside the, the case is sensing this deformation and is translating it into a rotation. That's what we can read uh, in the end on the hand. At Faberluba, we uh, take a lot of uh, efforts in furthering the technology that we have in the field of diving and provide uh, divers uh, a reliable companion, uh, a reliable instrument uh, that they can use effectively in their dives. Apart from the Bati, which I spoke about, uh, another hallmark product that we have is the harpoon and uh, harpoon has a single hand display mechanism which is uh, uh, which is a patented uh, technology very unique in in displaying time apart from the harpoon uh, we also have the deep blue which is specifically made for diving and is hugely popular across the world for 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 our brand and uh, and of course uh, with bathi we have a fairly interesting uh, bouquet of, of products uh, for the diving community. <music>